day has finally arrived. Ten years in the making, we're here at the first Whole Foods Market in Brooklyn. I'm here not only as borough president, but as the borough's foodie in chief. There's an old saying, man and woman does not live by bread alone. And that's why this Whole Foods, for all the organic, artisanal, local, ethical, handcrafted, hormone-free, grass-fed, free-range, sustainable, eco-friendly, gluten-free, rooftop hydroponic grown, gourmet, cruelty-free food that you can ever dream of. Congratulations. Our Brooklyn store has been 10 years in the making. And to be here this morning after 10 years and finally see all these great customers and all the hard work and the labor of love that we have done on this project, it just warmed my heart. Really our goal behind the Brooklyn store was to create a store that looks like it's been in Brooklyn for 100 years. But I really love all the items that have been reclaimed and repurposed to make this store more unique. So the wood that we have in our store, the produce bins around the dairy coolers and dairy freezers, the, uh, is reclaimed wood from the Coney Island Boardwalk. Instead of throwing it into a landfill, we've taken that wood and repurposed it, and it's actually really beautiful in our store. We also have uh, bricks from the Westinghouse factory in Newark, New Jersey. It's 250,000 bricks that were ripped down. They knocked down this building and I guess was gonna go to a landfill, but we decided to use them for our store. It's really awesome to be able to talk to our customers about it. Um, this property was contaminated, and we went to great lengths to not only clean it to the, to the highest level, um, but we also made sure that when we built the store, we weren't adding any contamination or anything to the environment. So we're recycling the rainwater, we have solar panels in our parking lot, we have wind turbines. So it was everything to not just take an old property and make it better, but really to take it to a new level. This store I see is the greenest, most environmental store we've done. It's an evolution, it's, it's, a, it's a tremendous store, one of the very best stores you've ever opened. It's gonna help Whole Foods evolve in a lot of positive ways. is made up of the best team members and it's going to be an amazing store because we have hired the absolute best people. They're excited, they are all in. We have over 450 team members. Two thirds of those team members live right here in Brooklyn. It doesn't get any more community than that. We have our local buyer Ellie and uh, we hired her almost a year and a half ago uh, to oversee all of our local buying but her last year has just been spent sourcing local product for the Brooklyn store. I'm hoping that shoppers and customers start walking in here and notice the number of tags that they see Brooklyn, New York and their borough printed right on them because we have thousands of products literally um, from Brooklyn and from New York and from the surrounding region. We've got at least five vendors that are within half a mile of the store, several right on 3rd Avenue. We're buying from Runner in Stone who makes these amazing breads and pastries and pretzels buying from 4 and 20 Blackbirds, which is like the pie shop in Brooklyn. A couple of my favorite partners, I'm standing next to one of their products, is Chris Harth at New York Cutlery. He's made us these cutting boards, which are beautiful from reclaimed cherry, and he's offering knife sharpening services in our store. The unique thing about this store and what's happening in this region is that they're actively seeking out people who are craftsmen who are really dedicated to what they do and enjoy what they do, and they've you know, put a tremendous amount of effort into making me a part of this brand, a part of this store, a part of this experience. Well, we had 25,000 square foot of more space, an entire roof, what to do with it. Building a greenhouse seemed the natural thing to do. We're thrilled to be partnering with Whole Foods to have built uh, and now soon to be operating the country's first commercial scale rooftop farm integrated into a supermarket and especially to be in this neighborhood, Gowanus. What's so revolutionary about this partnership is we're literally taking the, the, the conversation of food miles and turning it into food footsteps. We'll literally be harvesting fresh produce 365 days of the year and bring it right downstairs to be sold to local Gowanus and Brooklyn residents. What I feel here is this, this rediscovery of the, of the connection between a store and a community, and a community and a company. All these things are happening here, and this, is, this may really help the company to just fire up again about what's possible when all those things come together. And I feel that here in a new, fresh way. 
I think we're very at home in Brooklyn. I mean, luckily it's my home borough. You're seeing a ton of pieces of Brooklyn in this store, and I think that you're gonna see a lot of different people coming in here because of it.